Hi everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to Rose Lane. This is going to be part two of this, what shouldn't have been complicated folio, but is turning into something complicated because I don't know how to stop myself. Um, figured out a little bit, but didn't want to do a whole bunch of it off camera. So this, as you remember, is the front cover and we're going to zhuzh that up a little bit, a little bit later. This is the inside cover and we're going to put something down the center. We're doing folded sort of pockets in here at the back. Don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, if I'm going to do anything at all. Um, so that's where I am at the moment. We're going to work on the pockets in here and the center in here. And then I think maybe there'll be a third video, uh, possibly, probably, maybe. Um, with actually sort of decorating it. So we'll, we'll work on that when we get there. Now, <clears throat> I tried to punch these when I was off camera. Let me see if you can see. And I went to three and a quarter instead of three and a half. So it didn't work. However, it will fit inside the pocket. So what I want to do, it's going to go in here and it's going to, that will cover it. So we're good with that. And then we're just going to, I cut a new one um from the old one that i had punched originally i just figured you know what let's just play it safe so i inked these already i think yes um so we're, we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue these in place and then we're going to put the paper here and then i'm going to show you what we're going to do something before we actually glue them into the folio or whatever it's going to be <laughs> what it's going to be I'm probably going to end up putting a few pages in it and making it like a small notebook or a little mini journal or something. I don't know. I don't know. I say that a lot because, you know, I don't know. So anyway, let me pick up where I left off with my story. So we go up to Maine and we have um, my husband's steak and lobster dinner. And they bought him a Dutch crumb apple pie, which was delicious. Now... I don't know how things might be in Europe if anybody's watching from Europe, but our store bought store bought pies are, you know, from store bakeries, but you know, our regular supermarkets are really not very big. But they managed to get 60 candles on that cake, on that pie, I'm sorry. And uh oh my gosh, they were so close together. The candles were so close together because, you know, the pie is not that big. It's like, you know, eight or nine inches. It's only like this. And uh, the candles were so close together that they were actually starting to form one gigantic flame, which was frightening. So we're worried that, you know, it's going to catch something on fire. They did it in the kitchen, lit them on the stove. You know, they had the pie on the stove, which was good. And... Um, so we all ran into the kitchen because they were afraid to move the pie. And I got some glue on here. Not that that really matters. My glue eraser, great, great, great invention. Works on here, works on my fingers. Um, anyway, so we go in the kitchen and you know, everybody's singing happy birthday to you. And I'm like, we can't, it's faster, faster. <laughs> we had to sing it faster so he could blow out the candles because it was just, it was going to ignite the house. So it was really very funny. So we had a good time. But again, all that to go back and say, just those good belly laughs. You know, everybody's laughing and just enjoying themselves and having a grand time. And uh, yeah, so we left Maine then the following morning. That was Tuesday. We stopped about two and a half, three, about three, three and a half hours. And that's a little bit from the uh, inking pad thing again. Uh, but no one's going to see it because it's on the back. Uh, it's about, it was probably about three hours. We stopped in Hartford in Connecticut to see Don's sister. And she took part of the day off from work. She did some work from home and was in the office for a while. But she took like an extended afternoon sort of off so that she could spend some time with us, which was really nice. And uh, so we went out to have a really nice lunch at an Italian restaurant. And it was just delicious. And uh, so we spent a couple, maybe about two and a half hours with her and then got in the car and drove like, you know, another six and a half hours, seven hours, whatever it was home. So yippee. <laughs> um, 
but uh, so it made it a really, really long day. And um, it's just this little hair of a hair, right? Come here, you. There, okay. It made it a really long day, but it was really nice. So I don't know what is under my nails, but they are dirty today. Um, I showered, must have gotten into something. Okay, so now we're gonna put the green, which is on the back here. You get these papers a little neatened up here. There we go. We're gonna put the green on this part. So it'll have a different kind of green and cream colored in here. Then it's gonna be this and then this. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue here. And then once this glue is dry, we'll do one and put it to the side, work on the other one. Then I'll go back and punch the thumb holes in these. Let me get this away from me. <laughs> like I said, I tend to pull things close when I'm working without the camera. So I forget sometimes when I'm on the camera. So yeah, so we had a nice, you know, a lot of nice conversations coming home, talking about everybody and how the kids had grown and all the kids had grown, <laughs> you know, family and friends and how really good it is to, to be with them and how much you don't realize sometimes how much you miss them, whoops, when you're not with them. So, so yeah, so we've, I'm hoping, my prayer is that we will remember that and not neglect um, our family and friends so easily. Um, you know, because we get caught up in the daily grind of life and who doesn't, but we have to be much more deliberate um, about being with our family and our friends and, uh, and laughing, really, really laughing, you know, it was good. It was good to laugh. So I'm just gonna cut to this um, should have probably did it on the other side of the paper. It would have been easier for me. Um, and then just cut up this way. And hopefully I will not cut the fold in the cardstock. Yeah, I'll probably end up putting some papers in the middle. And I don't know. I don't want to get into making a whole other journal, even if it is small, but... I may just I may just leave the pockets and call it a day. <laughs> so okay, so we have that one. All right, we're just gonna put this one to the side and let that rest while we do the other one. Okay, and if that one goes this way, then this one goes this way. So we put this on this way. Okay because we want everything facing up. Yes, we do. Everything in the right direction. So that was our, you know, our trip saga. So we get home on Tuesday. It's pretty late. Um, Wednesday, I had to, because we did school backpacks, or we were going to do, we have done now, but at the moment we, we were going to do school backpacks um, for uh, the less fortunate people of our community, uh, people who are, you know, financially struggling um, and maybe can't afford to buy some of the things that are really needed and they struggle to get that for their children. So um, we did a very large uh, considering um, backpack program for the children and the problem was we did it originally spoke to one school district and when we spoke to them it was at the end of the school year i just want to pull that down and i'm gonna to have to trim but that's all right um 
So it was at the end of the school year, you know, this year, but at the end of the school year, back in, you know, late spring. And um, very hard to get a hold of people when they are on summer vacation. So we couldn't get a lot of answers that we were trying to get, like, um, you know, what they would want to see in the backpacks and uh, how many for each grade and male and female and et cetera, you know. So before we left for uh, our vacation, I did have a response from the one school district that we had contacted and um, uh, had originally contacted. And she had given us a breakdown by grade for kindergarten and first and second grade. And I can't see this now. So for whatever the reason is, oh, you know why? Because I think I might have cut it. I might have cut it from the green side before. I don't know. But this one's giving me an issue. So, um, so she gave us a breakdown of kindergarten and first and second grade, and they would like these types of things for that. Then third and fourth grade, then fifth and sixth grade, then seventh and eighth grade, and then eight, nine, uh, then nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, which for us is high school. Okay. So I went by her suggestions for each grade level. And when we came back from our vacation, that's what I did on Wednesday, scurrying around because we were going to pack them and we had volunteers coming on Thursday and Friday. So I went out and spent about, I don't know, $2,000 or whatever it was and I knew I wasn't done, but it was, it was a beginning. And I had already bought the backpacks and had them delivered uh, before I had left. So we had that happening, okay? Now, one more thing before I um, where's my pencil? Uh, before I, I'm giving them a couple more minutes to set. I'm just gonna, I put little uh, tick marks here and here because I wanna draw a glue line and I will explain that in a minute. And I'm gonna do it this way so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just using the edge of the paper end to end like so, trying to keep it as straight as possible, okay? I'm drawing a glue line here and I'm going to draw one here as well on my other tick mark. I got glue everywhere, um, right here. Try to get that straight along the bottom so my glue line is straight, I hope. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is something I had done once before, but it was a little bigger. It was in a regular journal. So I don't know if it's gonna quite work this way, but we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, so I'm going to get my, where did I put it? <laughs> there it is, okay get it out from underneath here. Let's try to get this one in the right place now, okay? So this was three and a half, right? Three and a half, there it is for me. That looks even, that looks even, God please. Okay, there's one. Then we're gonna flip it over this way. Three and a half, three and a half. Okay, same place. There we go, okay? Got that. Good, good. Let's get a little ink on these. Okay. Go off camera because I make a mess with this stuff. So there's that and this one in here. Okay. Now let me cover my glue. So anyway, I come back with all this stuff. It took me hours and then ringing it up and oh my gosh, I had just this huge, you know, cart, like big giant flatbed cart, just full of all this stuff. I bring it all back and uh, Thursday and Friday, we're gonna start stuffing the backpacks. Well, we start doing it. Now in the interim, 
we get another phone call from another school di district that my husband had contacted but hadn't heard back from. So right before we're ready to leave, this other school district calls and said, now we were prepared to do 350 backpacks. The other school district calls and we're thinking we're only doing one school district. The other school district calls and says, we'd like 200. Well, that only left 150 for the other school district and I don't have time to get more backpacks because I mailed away for them. So she gives us, the new school district tells us how many male and female and how many grades. She only wanted up to grade four from kindergarten to grade four, but the other school district who didn't give me a number, but did give me a breakdown, sectioning off the grades, um, never gave me a number, male or female or anything otherwise. I think I'm done with this, so I'm gonna put it away. Let me get back up here, put that over there. Okay, so I'm, this sounds very confusing because it was. All right, now I'm gonna glue this down, this pocket stuff here, I'm gonna glue this. So, I'm like, okay, so I divided up what was left and it gave like, I think it was 11 per grade from K through 12. That's 13 grades for the other school. And I'm hoping that it was going to be enough, but we can't get a hold of her because, you know, it's just one of those things. School hasn't started yet, so she's not there all the time. And so that's what we're doing. So I have to divide all these things up. Well, Wednesday night, after we do about 300 of the backpacks, um, Thursday, we get a phone call from the first lady who had given us what to put in each grade. Well, today she calls, well, not today, but that day she calls and says, well, this is how many I need, male and female. Okay, now I was just gonna split it kind of down the middle for each grade and she was only getting a certain amount per grade. Fortunately, she was asking for less than what I originally intended to give her. However, she changed how she broke down the grades. Instead of being K, kindergarten one and two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine through 12, she made it K, kindergarten one, two, three, then four and five, six and seven, and eight, and then 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, we had filled the backpacks differently. So now <laughs> I have one more day of volunteers that day and I've got to fix it by night. So I was running around like crazy. Needless to say, between Wednesday and Thursday, my back, again, I could stand up straight, but I could do very little of anything else. So it was not fun. Okay, so... We did manage to get them done. My husband will deliver them and yada, yada. So there's the end of that. But anyway, okay. This is our glue line. Now, let me get the book here. This is how these are going to go in, okay? They're going to go in this way and this way. Oops, this way, okay? Now something, and I had said I was going to push this in a little bit. Something I had done, I don't know why this doesn't look like it fits. If I have to trim it, I will trim it because I can't see things when I lay them like this. So I may have to trim the bottoms, but that's all right. <clears throat> I had done something, oh, almost two years ago now, I guess, year and a half or so, something like that, where I had hidden page, hidden a page inside and it rolls back in. And I'm not sure if it's gonna work with this. If it doesn't work, I'm just gonna end up trimming this off. Um, but if it does work, yay. So we're gonna try. So what we're gonna do is I cut these pages and I used thinner paper because it would it would do this easier, okay, than the thicker paper would. It, it didn't wanna bend easy and I didn't wanna have to fight it. So using this glue line, I am gonna glue this paper in. I cut it a little shorter because I have to glue the pockets down here, okay? <clears throat> so we're gonna glue this paper down right to here, okay? So let's go ahead and try to, let me get this out of the way because I don't want to mess that up. And we'll see if this works. I don't know if it's going to work. What time is it? Quarter after six for me now. So we're just going to go along the edge here and down about that far. I think it was about that far in from the edge. 
give or take. And it doesn't have to be wonderful, but I like having all of it glued down because it makes it more stable. <clears throat> Let me get this little glue glob off. Yes, there we go. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and just put that down a little further. And so we've got it centered, basically, I hope, and then right along that glue line. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue that down. <clears throat> okay, oh, losing my, losing my tape. I'm gonna have to do it, guys. All right, <clears throat> here it is. <clears throat> Same thing here, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Okay, my glue's starting to get empty here. Takes a minute to have it come down. All right, right along there. Come on, a little bit more. I hear somebody up in the kitchen. They must be looking for food, but we're eating leftovers tonight. So they can eat when, whenever, whatever they want. So, yeah. So anyway, we did we did manage to get the backpacks done, but oh my gosh, just another saga. And now this week, I have 100 craft kits I have to finish for our seniors camp must cut that crooked because it's not either that or I made the pencil line crooked I don't know either way but it looks straight the paper looks straight even though it doesn't seem to be matching the line and I don't know how I do that because I cut it out of one sheet of paper that I hadn't touched before so I just want to get the globbies off just want to get the globbies off. There'll be more glue there later, but I don't want it to be all globbed up. I'm going to try to get some of these off of my fingers. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to leave them right where they are. This goes on this side. This one goes on this side. And I'm probably going to end up having to um, make some sort of a little tab or some something that, that'll make it easy to pull out. Um, but what we're going to do now is glue the pocket down. Now, because I want, I have this on this side, that's why I have that glue line because this, this pocket won't be this deep. It's only going to be like that deep. Okay. Or this deep or whatever it is. So yeah, it'll only be as deep as this. So we are going to, and I want to, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do it with this. Actually, let me try to do it with the finer one of these. See if this wants to work. Maybe it maybe it got over being temperamental because I haven't been using it. So we'll put a... I'm thinking it may be that it's cold. It may be that this is all glue under the tape. And I'm thinking maybe it's just, you know, like the air thing or something. So I'm just going to go along the edge of the paper here. Okay, and I don't mind going back on this just a little bit, but not too much. This is gonna form the pocket. And then we're gonna go across here, okay? Like so. And across here, and I might be a little off screen. My apologies. And that's this one. And I just put my finger in the glue. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Okay, let me try to put a little more glue here. Now, the thing is, because I do want to leave an edge, I have to watch what I'm doing where I'm putting it. So I'll leave just a little bit, not a whole bunch. I'm going to line it up along the top here if I can. And whatever might be hanging off the bottom, I will trim. Okay. So we have that. Now 
Now what I did with this to get this paper size is I measured how far I wanted it to go in and then like two times more. Okay, so then that'll fold in like this and it should, you know, go, go all the way in or close to all the way in, which either way is fine. Okay, so that one is in. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing here. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue along the line I had drawn as opposed to where the paper ended up because I don't know why. Actually, let me go ahead and, so we're only gluing the sides, the, the two short sides, okay? Because essentially what we're doing is we're making this into kind of like two pockets, okay? And it's okay if this has a little bit more on the end because, um, you know how that is. You want to make it nice and strong. Okay, so that should be enough there. And we're going to take this and carefully measure like this about how far in. And I want to do it from the top like I did this one. So we were looking at maybe three eighths of an inch, trying to make it even, but doing it by eye. Okay, so we're gonna press down in the middle and on the ends. This is actually can go up a little higher, there it is. Okay, let's go from the back here. Well, let's, probably a mood point. Let's just go from the front. Okay. And that's that. Now this takes a little bit of time, but it will, because you kind of have to like train the paper to do it, but it will go in. <laughs> like I said, this one sure. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Let's work with that later because the glue isn't set yet. In the meantime, let's get a piece of paper down the middle here, and I'm going to do this as well, down the middle. But I'm gonna go from this side because I need it a little bigger. So, let's see, do I want about an inch? I'll do an inch. Okay. Yeah, so it takes, it takes a little working the paper to like folding it, you know, to make it stay. Okay, we have that one. And I will just glue this in and then trim it with the scissors. So let me get right side up. Yes, okay, good. <sighs> I'm going off camera again. <laughs> getting all those little things. All right, a little bit more. And this one is just a copy paper weight. I have, I did things in light beiges, dark beiges, heavier beige, white pages, and they were all heavy pages and ay ay ay. <laughs> so, okay, so let me see gonna go here, so I'm gonna go down to about there. So I'm just gonna kinda hold my finger there for a guide. All right, and then get some glue on here. And like I said, probably in the next video, I will add some laces and assorted embellishments flowers, butterflies, dragonflies, I don't know, labels. I don't know, but I will see what I can do. All right, so now I'm gonna take this and turn it so I can see where I wanna put it for the center. I'm trying to make it pretty even on both sides, I am hoping. So let's hope that that is straight. Okay. 
And then all we have to do now is maybe, like I said, embellish a little bit, even on these pockets. Um, I need more tags. Oh no. <laughs> yes, I need more tags. So that should be good. And I'm not going to try to fold that just yet because it's not going to want to um, stay flat when the glue is still wet. It'll make the paper blump, bumble up, sort of, and get all nasty. We don't want that. Okay, so which one did I glue on first? I can't remember. Let's see if we can try to get this to go in now. This is pretty stiff compared to my last one. And like I said, if I can't get it to work, I will just trim off the paper and we'll call it a pocket. So let's try. I'm going to fold this back and see if maybe that'll help it. Okay. In you go. This is how I did it. Let me hang this off on the side. This is how I did it last time, and I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. But to make it start going, trying not to actually fold it if I can help it. <clears throat> but to make it start going, this is what I did. Trying to just put it in evenly, if at all possible. Okay. All right, so in. And once you've, you've got it in place, it will then follow suit for itself and go in and out pretty easily. Okay. All right, it's, it comes out just a little bit, but that's all right. Let me get this side in just a wee bit more. Okay. Now it is kind of folded, but nonetheless. <laughs> All right, let me kind of fold this back. I don't think that really matters, to tell you the truth. All right, and then let's try to get... I'm trying to do this without pulling the glue off the edge of the pocket, you know, and opening the pocket up again. So let's try to get that in here. And then once we get this one going, I will pull out the other side and see how that's working. Like I said, I had done this in a much bigger, it is fidgety and a pain, but once it's in, and here it's starting to go, once it's in, um, okay, it kind of takes that form, I'm trying to get it in evenly as much as possible. Little piece hanging off there. Okay, back into here. Let's try to, now I'm gonna pull this out a little bit because I wanna try to tuck the front in a little more. And that will, there we go. There we go. Same for you. Inside your little puppies, you just have to work it a little bit. And I am pulling the pocket up because the glue was not dry yet. <laughs> and I've got this one bunched where I don't own it. And I don't mind if it's hanging out a little bit. I'm just trying to work that into the pocket. Okay. This may be a little, <laughs> a little more than some people want to tackle. And again, whoops, I do mind this part. So let's get you down inside. I don't mind if it hangs out a little bit. It's hanging more on that corner because it's not in here straight. All right. There. It's a little, little off from what I'd want it. I'm gonna try to glue this back down with the art glitter. Did that one come up? A little bit, not as much. Okay. Alrighty. 
and we'll go back on the side. Now, like I said, right now it's hard to kind of pull it out because there's nothing to pull it with. I will put something on it and this is how it works. So you pull it out like that and you can write on it front and back. And now it'll just go back more or less. <laughs> it'll go back in on its folds. If I can find the opening, there it is. I'm grabbing the back of the book instead, or the back of the pamphlet. All right, maybe the thicker one would have been better, but it will go in and out. And when I have a tab on it, that will be easier. And I am pulling this pocket up too. Not as much, but just that little corner. How about you? Not really, but I'll probably glue that back in. So which way am I going? I'm going this way. So that's more or less. Now let me do this. Okay. So this should be dry enough now. Just kind of running my fingernail over it and somehow it's not straight but it'll it'll do <laughs> it will do ouch okay so that is what we have so far so what did i do with that tag here we go so i don't know if this is going to be something that i put in here um obviously it won't go in there because this is now just this deep okay so you can't have anything that's going to come past about that wide this one obviously a little bit deeper you can have it come out um so that's not a problem so if we wanted to put something like this in here which i think i put it in this one because she's facing out you see something like that and then we have another pocket here and we have a pocket here and a pocket here. And then we have these pullouts, which I'll work on something to grab. And I don't know if I'm gonna do anything on the back and our little fairy is gonna go on the front. But at this point, I'm just gonna kind of leave that there for a pretty picture. And I am gonna say good night to you all. This one was only not quite 40 minutes, so that wasn't too bad. Um, and I will do a third video for this one for a follow-up and um, glue all over me here and uh, hopefully we'll finish this piece and in the meantime hopefully I'll get some some other some other tags done so that I can actually um, you know finish this poor thing up but that's it so for right now that's going to be it guys I'll see you in the next video in the meantime be safe be happy and be blessed and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.